Imagine this. You're in a remote village. The nearest clinic is hours away, and your child has a high fever. In the past, you'd be forced to wait, travel long distances, or hope for the best. But today, a few taps on your phone, and you're face to face with a doctor via video. Welcome to the world of telemedicine, where access to healthcare is no longer bound by location. In this video, we'll explore how telemedicine began, how it's evolving into a global digital health ecosystem, the real impact it's making, and what the future may hold. This is the story of how connectivity began to heal us. Our journey begins in the 1960s, not in a hospital, but in space. NASA developed early telemedicine to monitor astronauts' health remotely. That same idea trickled down to Earth, and by the 80s and 90s, hospitals started experimenting with telephone and TV consultations. But adoption was slow, the tech was expensive, and the internet wasn't widespread. Then the early 2000s changed the game internet became faster and more affordable video calling tools improved electronic health records went digital but it wasn't until a global crisis arrived that telemedicine would be truly put to the test that test came in 2020 covid 19 pushed healthcare systems beyond their limits in-person visits became risky, and hospitals were overwhelmed. Telemedicine moved from the sidelines to the center. In the US, telehealth visits spiked by over 4,000%. Some hospitals saw 80% of outpatient visits go virtual. This shift wasn't just about convenience, it was about survival. The pandemic didn't invent telemedicine, but it proved its value and accelerated its adoption by a decade. As the crisis unfolded, telemedicine quickly evolved. But what does it look like now, in a world adjusting to post-pandemic realities? Today, telemedicine isn't just video calls. It's an entire digital ecosystem, virtual therapy sessions, remote monitoring for heart, diabetes, and more. AI-based diagnostics for skin, eyes, lungs, e-prescriptions, delivered to your door, wearables, syncing your health data in real time. Imagine consulting your doctor online, getting lab results through app, and your medication delivered, all without stepping out. In this way, telemedicine doesn't replace the clinic, it extends its reach. And to do that reliably, it relies on a well-connected, intelligent system behind the scenes. So how does it all connect? Let's unpack the three major building blocks behind this transformation. Integrated platforms, apps like Babylon Health, Teladoc, and Amwell aren't just virtual clinics. They offer a full range of services, GP consults, referrals, chronic disease management, and even lab test bookings. Everything's in one place, saving time and improving coordination. Data-driven personalization. Modern healthcare isn't one size fits all. AI and machine learning now analyze a patient's medical history, genetics, and lifestyle data to create customized treatment plans, even flagging risks before symptoms appear. Interconnected devices, wearables and home medical tools like connected blood pressure monitors, smart inhalers and ECG patches send real-time health updates directly to care teams. These tools don't replace the doctor's judgment, they improve it by adding data that wasn't previously available in between checkups. Now, let's look at some real examples. It's easy to focus on the technology, 
But the real impact of telemedicine isn't in the platform, it's in the people. Toby, a young boy with Down syndrome and developmental and speech disabilities, once faced frequent, exhausting hospital visits. For his family, care was stressful and overwhelming. But with telemedicine, his doctors now check in virtually, offering timely support from home. It's brought consistency, comfort, and the chance for Toby to just be a kid. Maria, 65, lives in remote Slussfors, Sweden, used to travel hours for basic checkups. After her hip surgery, telemedicine let her connect with doctors and physiotherapists from her village. Guided rehab and checkups now happen close to home making healthcare simpler, faster, and more personal. These aren't rare exceptions. They reflect a growing truth. Telemedicine helps care reach people who might otherwise fall through the cracks, not by replacing their doctor, but by keeping the connection alive between visits. And this connection is delivering measurable value. And when connection becomes easier, outcomes improve. Which brings us to the core question, what are the tangible benefits of telemedicine? Let's take a closer look at why telemedicine is proving so valuable, not just for patients, but for healthcare systems as a whole. Access to care in underserved regions, telemedicine brings care to the doorstep. Specialists can be reached without long travel or wait times, saving lives where local infrastructure falls short. Convenience. Patients can schedule appointments between meetings or after work, avoiding waiting rooms, travel, and time off. Cost efficiency. With fewer missed appointments and lower travel costs, both patients and providers benefit from reduced financial strain. Continuity of care. Ongoing conditions need consistent monitoring. Telemedicine makes it easier to stick to care plans, improving health over time. Mental health support. Teletherapy has broken barriers, stigma, distance, and access. More people are now seeking help, thanks to the privacy and accessibility of virtual care. But as with any shift in healthcare, new opportunities come with new challenges. No system evolves without friction, and telemedicine is no exception. Digital divide. Many people still lack stable internet, digital literacy, or access to devices. Without inclusive design, telemedicine risks, widening the gap it aims to close. Privacy and data security. Medical data is sensitive. Systems must be secure, encrypted, and designed to comply with strict standards because trust is the foundation of care, licensing and regulation. Digital care often crosses state or national borders. Without harmonized policies, it's unclear who can practice where and under what rules. Technology burnout. Healthcare workers are facing screen fatigue and system overload. It's vital to ensure that digital tools support rather than burden those delivering care. Solving these issues won't be easy but it's necessary to ensure that telemedicine scales responsibly. So, where does it go from here? Telemedicine is still growing, and its next chapter could be even more powerful. AI-powered diagnostics, artificial intelligence, is already being used to detect signs of diseases like cancer, stroke, or Alzheimer's, often earlier than human observation alone. In the future, it could become an everyday diagnostic assistant. Digital twins. These are virtual models of individual patients, allowing doctors to simulate different treatment approaches and predict outcomes before making real-life decisions. Augmented reality surgery AR, may soon enable expert surgeons to guide complex operations remotely supporting colleagues in different cities or countries with real-time 3D visual input, global health without borders. As systems, standards, and regulations begin to align, we may see truly global care networks. Patients could access specialists worldwide without leaving home, 
supported by a trusted, integrated care model. But as exciting as these innovations are, one thing must stay constant – human care at the core. No technology replaces the judgment, compassion and skill of a doctor. Telemedicine simply supports them, extending their reach, their insight and their ability to help. As we reach the conclusion, one message is clear. Telemedicine is not the future of care. It's part of the present, already strengthening care, extending capacity, and improving outcomes. The challenge now isn't whether we should use it, but how we can use it better. Because healing doesn't only happen in clinics or wards anymore. Sometimes, it happens through a screen. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more valuable insights on appraisals, revalidation, and interesting topics in healthcare.